I have been studying how I may compare this prison where I live unto the world. And for the world is populous, and here is not a creature but myself, I cannot do it. Yet I'll hammer it out. My brain I'll prove the female to my soul, my soul the father, and these two beget a generation of still breeding thoughts, and these same thoughts people this little world, in humans like the people of this world, for no thought is contented. The better sort, as thoughts of things divine are intermixed with scruples, and do set the word itself against the word as thus come, little ones. And then again it is as hard to come as for the camel to thread the postern of a small needle's eye. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts tending to ambition, they do plot unlikely wonders. How these vain, weak nails may tear a passage through the flinty ribs of this hard world, my ragged prison walls, and for they cannot die in their own pride. Thoughts tending to content, they flatter themselves that they are not the first of fortune slaves, nor shall not be the last. Like seely beggars, who sitting in their stocks refuse their shame that many others have and must sit in them. And in this thought they find a kind of ease, bearing their own misfortunes on the back of such as have before endured the like. Thus play I, in one person, many people, and none contented. Sometimes am I king, then treason makes me wish myself a beggar, and so I am. Then crushing penury persuades me I was better when a king, then am I king again. Then by and by think that I am unking by Bolingbrook and straight am nothing. But whate'er I be, nor I, nor any man that but man is with nothing, shall be pleased till he be eased with being nothing. Music, do I hear? Mm. Mm. How sour sweet music is when time is broken, no proportion kept. So is it in the music of men's lives. And here have I the daintiness of ear to check time broken a disordered string, but for the concord of my state and time had not an ear to hear my true time broke. <laughs> I wasted time, <laughs> and now doth time waste me, for time hath made me his numbering clock. My thoughts are minutes, and with sighs they jar their watches on unto mine eyes, the outward watch whereto my finger, like a dial's point, is pointing still in cleansing them from tears. <sighs> Now, sir, the sound that tells what hour it is are clamorous groans which strike upon my heart, which is the bell. So sighs and tears and groans are minutes, times and hours. But my time runs posting on in Bolingbroke's proud joy while I stand here is ten o'clock. This music mads me, let it sound no more. For though it have held madmen to their wits, in me it seems it will make wise men mad. Yet Blessing on his heart that gives it me. For tis a sign of love. And love 
to Richard is a strange approach in this all-hating world.